Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful day, on this beautiful channel. What's going on? We gotta keep working. So, uh, gotta work, 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 work. Gotta work, 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 work. I changed some stuff here. I changed uh, the remove function, so I made it really efficient. So, compared to Vector, where Vector just straight up removes an element and then copies everything to the right to the left all the way to the end of the array so imagine you have a bunch of enemies or a bunch of text tags or whatever and you have to do this copy operation every time you remove one of them and these text tags and enemies are made to be killed or removed frequently so it's not a good thing what this does it's a pointer pointer array and the pointer at where it's uh, which index is going to be deleted we remove that enemy or whatever and then we point that simple just a two-step operation really quick like microseconds to the end of the array to that that element and then so we kind of just shift the end of element to the element that's empty or the position that's empty and then we make that last pointer into a null pointer and we decrease the number of elements so that's a really really simple operation and add is also a really simple operation so we're gonna add something we're just making a new at the end of the end of the array. I'm oh, sorry about my nose, guys and girls. It's just uh, it's pollen. Uh, but yeah, um, this is the only operation that costs a lot, expanding the array. But we do it by double every time. So in the end, we're gonna reach a point where we don't ever have to expand it anymore. So it's gonna be really quick. Uh, so yeah, and what I did was I just tried it out. I went into my game. And I changed text tags to a D array. And what I had to do then was I had to go in here and just change pushback to add uh, here to all the text tags, add, and then add, and then what was this? Text tags dot size. I changed the name of the function in text tags. Uh, I changed this name, get size. I changed its size. Uh, yeah, there we go. And then uh, this erase function is now called it's called remove instead of the vectors erase and then I don't have to do all that begin stuff iterator stuff I can just give it the index where I want to remove it so uh, that's how easy it is and it works so let me show you this let me show you this gas and uh, see text tag exp is coming out all right so we're good I mean that much worked so it's no big deal um, boom boom level out everything works perfect so now we're just gonna spend this time together this beautiful time and we're gonna change all of these to uh, to that stuff so what is the most important one I mean enemies is probably the most important one what I'm going to do is I'm going to say D array enemy enemies and then we have to change all this stuff again so add um, and then instead erase now remember it's remove and then we'll just give it the index at which we want to remove it we'll go down give it the index again remove and then remove everything else should work just fine uh, so that's good we could do players as well now while we're at it anyway D array player and the same thing here we're just gonna do add add so that's good let's do a start on this so especially enemies is gonna really benefit from this because I mean when you remove an enemy you don't have to do this crazy operation and see how many enemies there are on screen we'll have a lot more as well so this is gonna be really really good and for projectiles as well I mean just removing the projectile without having to copy all the other ones over and stuff is gonna be really really nice it's gonna give us a big boost so that's good uh, let's go into player player.h where bullets reside and we're gonna make this into a DRA as well so D array bullet <clears throat> there we go we'll do this 
and where's the get? Here we go. The array. The array. Return this bullets. Good. Um, good. So in player. Here we go. Add. 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 And then in game. We gotta do remove at position I. See how easy this is? All you have to do is this. Boom. Boom. Done. Finito. Done. Remove. There we go. Alright, so that should be everything. Let's run this again and let's try it out. Um, shouldn't be an issue. Is no issue at all is no issue whatsoever so it's a lot quicker it's a lot better just the way it should be uh, except for that which isn't good what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a bullet <coughs> at a position so instead of get bullets I'm gonna just do this bullet uh, const bullet reference and then get bullet at index i unsigned index i and I'm gonna copy this and do that oh whoops unsigned index uh, go into player make a little thingy down here or right here so, uh, const, move in line, const, bullet, reference, get bullet at um, index. That took a long time to realize and just play around with, but uh, so I'm sorry about that. But if index is less than zero or index is greater than uh, this wait what player uh, this bullets dot size and this bullets dot size okay uh, fine um throw out of bounds player out of bounds player get bullet player get bullet else we're gonna return this bullets return this bullets at position index and as a thing just like that well it's a reference though I mean shouldn't be shouldn't be like this I'm not sure uh, that's strange because I'm returning a pointer and it's taking okay that's so whatever who cares it seems fine um, because in the array, when I return a T, yeah, it's a, well, I'm actually returning a reference, that's why, okay, so we're good, we're just like that, so we can get a bullet, get that bullets, whatever, and just handle it that way. Then what we can do is we can do remove bullet, get bullet, void, remove bullet, at unsigned index. So we can try this out. Um, boom. And then player. If index is less than zero, blah, 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 we'll do this. 
player remove bullet uh, else this bullets at position index bullets dot remove at position index there we go so now we don't have to handle all that in game by getting bullets get bullets size uh, unsigned or int get bullets size uh, could do this const int inline constant get bullet size return turn this bullets dot size there we go const uh, boom so player i get bullet size get bullet at position k dot update const bullet Oh, wait, there we go. I don't want it to be const. Well, I do want it to be const, but updating it, well, that isn't really a const thing to do. Uh, but okay. Get bullet at k. Get global bounds, get bullet, remove bullet. Remove bullet at k. We'll see if this works. Get bullet at K. Remove. Remove bullet at K. Okay, guys and girls. We're gonna see if this works. Oh god, why? Uh what bullet get oh wait, cons. There we go. Please, please work, please. Okay, so this is working. It is removing the bullets at position, but it's still crashing, guys. God damn it. What is this? So, I just came back here. I'm just gonna fix this just quickly. Uh, so, thanks for waiting. The, the issue was that when I, in game, I don't know why I was such a noob and I didn't figure this out because I'm straight up noob. Okay, so what happened is I was changing a bunch of stuff here. I was I was making like get bullet and 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 remove bullet and that's fine. We can keep that. We can keep that stuff. But the biggest issue was that player has its own bullets array. All right, and it's a pointer pointer array. And when in game I create a player and shove it into another D array. This is using a copy constructor to function. All right, and a lot of you might have figured that out, but I didn't because I'm slow. I didn't figure it out at all. But uh, the issue is that the array has no overloaded copy constructor. So what happens is it's going to straight up just point stuff with the assignment operator and you're going to get a bunch of issues. So when this is created with its the array, the other player that is added in here but that is copied from this is going to have the same array. And this is going to be deleted as soon as this is done. So that array is going to be deleted. And then this is going to have like no array. And we're going to try to call stuff and stuff. So it's going to be a big issue. So we need to make a assignment operator overloaded. Or first a copy constructor overloaded. So the array. Const the array reference object. Object. That's our copy constructor, and we have to make this here. The array. So, why this is so important? This is so important. This is called deep copying. If you haven't checked that out yet, you should go do that. You should go check out my uh, videos on that. Actually, I made videos on that. Can you can you imagine me not being able to figure this out? I'm like, what the hell is going on? But the the thing is, this is basically going to do the same thing as the regular constructor 
it's gonna but it's gonna set it to the objects cap the other objects cap it's gonna be object dot number of elements because we're copying everything from another object when we're creating this object so this array is not going to be a it's gonna be a new thing and we're gonna just copy over stuff so we're gonna make a for loop let's say this number of elements all right and we're gonna say this array at position I equals a new T object uh, object um, dot array at position I okay so new T object it should be like this because it's a pointer we're returning and it's going to be a copy of that so it's a new copy of an object at that position and we're just going to initialize everything again so it should be good or from this sorry about this it's number of elements otherwise it would be a big problem okay so that should be fine now when I run this we shouldn't have an issue but we do okay I think I have to restart the whole thing because and in task manager it might be open as well nope now maybe yep there you go that happens sometimes when it bugs out uh, so we're getting bullets everything's fine and we get no crash because we have its own it has its own address and now we're fine the problem was or the way I figured out the problem is I went into DRA and I did a simple C out I don't know if you can see it I did a simple C out I think I removed it where's the destructor god damn it no I didn't here I see I see out of the address of the array because here's where it was crashing and seeing there I saw two same addresses I was like well, what what the hell going on right here I was like god damn I was like, God damn, bro. And then I removed it. Uh, and, and and then I figured it out. Sorry. And uh, now I removed it, actually. Uh, I figured it out. I was like, okay. That's the problem. Copy constructor. Bam. We're good. we Gucci. Now, while we're at it, because I know I'm going to forget later, let's just make a, a void operator. Uh, there we go. Let's see. T const T object. Okay. So this is a operator called the assignment operator. We're gonna go down here. And we're just gonna put it down here. Let's just finish this as well. Because if we don't, I'm gonna forget and it's gonna be a problem, and so on and so on. Uh, this might be needed when we're using uh, there we go uh, when we're using stuff on the assignment operator on two different like enemy arrays or something like that and it could be useful so this first we gotta just clear well, we actually have to delete everything so we're gonna copy this we're gonna delete everything straight up everything and then we're gonna do then we're gonna use the copy constructor uh, just where's the copy constructor here we go so we're gonna use this in here first we delete everything then we're gonna use this we're gonna make a new cap new number of elements new array with the new capacity and then go ahead and and copy everything over from the other array and then initialize it so that's the thing the only difference is we remove everything first because this isn't called when we create the object this is called any time like then then stuff might be in that array already so we want to delete it and we want to copy over the new stuff so that's good guys and girls that's about it thanks for watching thanks for waiting and and having patience on this video but it's really important so yeah good thing we figured it out thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video all right bye bye